Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Kevin here, back again with the video. I'm gonna be doing a quick review of the Bad Buddy campus in the Moss Olive. So, if you guys don't know, um, Bad Bunny did a special early release of the campus at Coachella. Uh, I was out there for the weekend one, so he had two different drops. He had a drop in person where you could buy the shoes on site, and you also had a way to get exclusive access um, if you were within the Coachella vicinity, if they ran out of pairs or what so not. Um, and yeah, I ended up getting the Bad Bunny. Uh, these guys are fire, in my opinion. I'll just go over the details initially. Let's start with the box. Bad Bunny box. It is a bit beat up just because uh, I had to squish this into, I pretty much had to break down the entire box to fit into a backpack just because the Coachella staff, so they had this box that came with it, or this bag, I mean, Adidas Bad Bunny. This was for the Coachella event. And uh, the shoe box didn't fit in the bag. They like straight up were like, hey, we have this tote bag. It doesn't fit the box. I was like, what the fuck? Like, what's the point? So there's that, and we had to break it down and put it in a backpack. Comes with a pair of cream laces, just standard poly cream laces. It also comes with the Bad Bunny Adidas dust bag, which I thought was cool. Um, my biggest issue, or not issue, but my biggest like sort of disappointment is that I had the Forum Lows, and I feel like that they're they're cheaping out on the accessories. So the Forum Lows, they had two sets of tongues. They had like three different laces. And I feel like with the campuses and even the all white forums and the baby blue forums, cause I have the triple black, the triple black had some laces, but even the OG cafe and the Easter ones, they had a bunch of cool little extras. At least my triple black forum low had two different tongues, but I feel like on all of the more recent ones, they're much less accessories and specialty that's included into it. Maybe they're trying to save money or they're passing that on to the material quality. But to be honest, this, I mean, it's a good pair of shoes, but I would have liked some extra accessories. They only came with a sort of cheap uh, poly lace. So I'll use the left foot. So here it is. This, I will throw some pictures up on the screen, but it was really cool. They had like a giant box, like a flower box. And inside there were like bonsai trees and there's like a bunch of flowers and a bunch of the pair of the olives sort of floating around. And they were, um, I guess this colorway was inspired by, you know, Japanese uh, moss and like bonsai and garden and like moss that grows on rocks and stuff like that. So I thought it was a very cool design. Um, so I guess just in general, this is a very, very different um, just campus. It's, it's, it's completely different. First off, you can see that the sole, it's a very chunky sole as well as this mud guard is very, very high um, and it's kind of wavy around. That's one of the signature details of the shoe. The upper is comprised of a very, very thick um, nappy suede as well as these are all pretty nice premium leather as well as this back is neoprene. So I thought that was a very, very nice touch. The neoprene really does add a lot of cushion to it. It also has this back ankle sort of heel slip or heel counter or heel. It kind of locks your heel in place. That's all leather as well. Comes with two different tongues. One is basically the evil eye tongue that is sort of um, like it feels very plush and like plasticky. Uh, it's very squishy, I would say. And then underneath it's the Adidas. I prefer the, the evil eye one. And this one is a removable tongue. Bam, right here. And something that they didn't do, if I remember correctly with the forums, is that the backing is leather. So I thought that was very cool. Also, excuse me if the shoes are dirty. I did wear them like quite frequently to coach all. So I have like a bunch of spills and the shoes kind of look really beat up, but I guess this gives you guys, um, I guess, trust in this review that I've actually worn these shoes quite a bit. Um, the inner is also quite nice with all the leather. So here's the size tag. Pretty nice and plush leather, I will say. 
The inner lining is leather and then it becomes fabric right over here. It's pretty nice. It's like a double layered fabric. Take this out. And yeah, the inner insole is Adidas and Bad Bunny. This flap is quite nice because it does provide some ankle like heel lock in. Um, my only annoying part about this is that when you're like slipping your foot in, sometimes this guy like flips down and you end up like needing to like pull this back out. So that's the only annoying part of it. But yeah, the shoe itself, the shape of it is definitely like reminiscent of like a skate shoe or maybe like a beefed up, like a dunk-esque, but with like a beefy, beefy sole. The heel counter is very, very nice as well. Um, I believe retail was 160. Uh, I think the rope laces are cool, but I've never been a fan of rope laces just in general. Um, in terms of comfort, I would say that these aren't the most comfortable shoes. I was walking around in Coachella and it did get quite uncomfortable. Um, the cushion isn't terrible for like day-to-day -day wear, but personally, I wouldn't, it's nothing to write home about. If you guys have worn a Samba or a Campus or a Stan Smith, you can expect sort of the same uh, like level of comfort, I would say, with just like an EVA insert in there. Um, the insole is not removable, at least it doesn't look removable, but I do feel like a little bit of cushion there. So there's like a little bit of padding, but nothing too crazy. Um, I will say that this is sort of like a heavier shoe just because of the sole is very, very dense. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, like other than that, another thing I would like to mention is this interior part. You see how the, uh, the mud guard is sort of fused. It creates this like upper lip. And I would say when you're walking, it tries, I can't tell if it's intentional, but it provides some sort of like arch stability, but not a very good job because the insole isn't, it's not like the Air Force One insoles where they have that like sort of arch padding support. This one doesn't. So it kind of juts into my arch every now and then. Um, not a, not a huge fan, um, but I will say that for the most part for casual wear, I think it only bothers me after like hours and hours and hours of wear. Um, another thing is that I would recommend going down half a size. I am normally an eight to an eight and a half. I got an eight in this and it's still a tad bit big. So I'd recommend again, going down half a size at least from your true to size. So like whatever, so Samba's fit narrow. So you would go true to size or size up. Campuses, I think you can go true to size if you're okay with a little bit of slippage, but I'd recommend sizing down half at least, like, you know. Um, but again, from your normal campus size, sounds down half, but if you don't know, true to size to half, I, it might be okay. Um, I would say it fits kind of similar to an Air Force One where the OG Air Force Ones, not the not the LX versions or whatever, uh, the OG Air Force Ones, you kind of have to size down half. So this is sort of similar, I would say. But yeah, uh, like let me know what you guys think about the Bad Bunny Campus. Um, very, very interesting shoe. I really, really like the, the sort of just shape of the shoe as well, as well as it is quite durable. It is quite a hefty pair of shoes. So I definitely do think it will last. Uh, but yeah, like let me know what you guys think uh, and I'll do an on foot right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey guys, um, just a quick note. Um, so I'm just noticing that right now, um, I would say with the tongue on, I feel like it fits probably more true to size slash size down half, but with the tongue off, it's quite a bit more spacious. I'm sure I could tighten the lace and make it a bit more uh, snug, but that's just something that I've noticed is that with the extra tongue on as it's meant to be worn, it fits definitely like a little bit more snug which, I mean, it depends on how you like to wear, but I just thought I'd point that out. All right. Shut up.